Hi, one from this brings you the best. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. Your comments and your likes will be highly appreciated. We are going straight forward to Senegal to take a look at all this happening in that country politically. That is a place that a young man rose from prison to presidency. Yeah, we are talking about no other person than His Excellency Dio Maye Faye. He is now the sitting president of Senegal. What might happen? Something dramatic happened in that country that he had to rise from prison to presidency. And one dramatic issue also is the former president, we are talking about Macky Sall, left the country almost immediately after handing over to him. Yes, you heard me right. Let us go into the story and know exactly what may have necessitated, allegedly, what may have necessitated him to leave the country almost immediately. Just some few hours after handing over, he have to jet out of the country. Yes, that was exactly what happened in Senegal. Now, let's take a look at something critical about democracy in Africa. Most often than not, though a lot of countries are doing so well, including Senegal, something happened prior to the, the, the election that took place in this year, 2024, that the president happened to do certain things or take certain decisions that did not augur well for the opposition to the point of imprisonment of or imprisoning the leader of the opposition party in the person of Osmani Sonko, as well as his running mate. Yeah, we are talking about the running mate. That is the current president. That's Dio Maye Faye. They were in prison. Yes, that mostly happened. When it comes to African democracy, they will find one way or the other. That is why even if you are in opposition, you have to conduct yourself well. Because anything at all will land you in a serious problem. And if you are not careful, you see yourself in jail. A lot of countries in Africa are doing very well. Ghana is doing well. South Africa is doing well. Nigeria partly is also doing well. And some other countries are also doing well in Africa. And Senegal, until recently, was doing so well when it comes to democracy. And it happened to be one of the stable democracies in Africa. Yes, especially in the region that it found itself, West Africa. Is doing so well, but something dramatic happened during the preparation towards the 2024 election that wasn't so good because the fact that you imprison your political opponent, no matter how wrong they are, yes, if the person is wrong and is justified for the person to be taken to court and imprisoned, fair enough, it has to be done. That is how the things are supposed to be, but it must be fair trial as well as everything must be justified. Now, who is Makisa? the former president of Senegal afraid of before he has to leave the country almost immediately. And he left, reportedly, he left to probably, allegedly, that is uh, Paris, as I said already, Paris, that is France. That is where he is now, allegedly, yes. But let's see what exactly happened. Now, this young man, who happened to be a former task inspector, that is Faye, is just 44 years and is married to two wives. That one is not an issue because in their country, it is legal for you to marry two or more. I don't know the actual number, but he is presented to us that he is having two. Yes, I think it's legal in their country. And we now have two, uh, that is first ladies. Yes, we have two first ladies. And one dramatic also, uh, things also is he appointed someone that happened to be the leader of his party. Please, let's listen very carefully and understand this thing very well. Sonko, we are talking about Osmani Sonko, happened to be the leader of the opposition party. And this young man, Faye, who is now the president of Senegal, happened to be his running mate. But when they were in prison, and they were just released just a few days to the election, at the end, Sonko, Osman Sonko, very popular and very charismatic leader, was disqualified by the leadership of, we are talking about Macky Sall, the sitting president, or the former president of Senegal. Yes, that arose a lot of passion in the country, a lot of agitations. People died and properties were destroyed here and there. And it got to a point that he has to use his de facto, or let me call it, jail power. He has to use his veto power or jail power that is backed by law to postpone the election dates. He did exactly that, yes. That happened, that even rose, that caused a lot of problems in the country. And people died just because of that. So, this gentleman who was disqualified, I'm talking about Osman Sonko, decided to trust his running mate, that is Faye. Because he knows very well that once he's not going or he has been disqualified, if he's not able to put someone in his shoes, the person may not be able to perform well. That was exactly what happened. And the people bought into their ideas, they voted massively for them, and they won. And as we speak, Diomaye Faye is the president of Senegal. And the former president have to practically run away from the country, allegedly. Yes. Why has he have to run away from the country, his own country? And one serious issue is, as soon as this gentleman, we are talking about his excellency Faye, took over power, 
The first appointment that he made was he made his former boss, that's Osmani Sonko, the Prime Minister of Senegal. Yes, you heard me right. He's now the Prime Minister of Senegal. And one thing that is going to happen in Senegal is, let's listen very well. One thing that is going to happen, there is going to be a shift when it comes to their international relations, the way they deal with other countries, particularly France. Yes, because horse in opposition, it seems, or it appears to some of us, that we the political analysts that know, their interest, their ideology, and the things they believe in seems to be counter that of France and the way France have been dealing with Senegal. You know, when it comes to uh, France, the country that is colonized in Africa, or the countries that are colonized all over Africa, uh, or uh, all over the world, sometimes, because of what they practice, they practice the assimilation process, and uh, that one I will explain later. Because of that, what they do is, they will leave your country. They will give you independence. But one way or the other, they will have a way to control certain things in the country. And it seems that it's not so good for the people of Senegal. That is why this young man decided to fight against him. And allegedly, they've been supported by other countries here and there that are anti uh, the France dominance in their country. That is why some of us can say practically that they will be able or they are going to move from the old ways of doing things international when it comes to international relations or the way they relate to other countries. A lot of people were there, a lot of leaders from uh, West Africa, the greatest occasion during the inauguration and the delivery of speech here and everything was perfect. But the country is not going to be the same again when it comes to international relations. Now, some of me ask, why are things this way in Senegal? Yes, this happened when certain people allow others to influence them directly or indirectly. Now, it could be that, yes, you imprison this young man. It could, it could be that your man may be able to win. But because you imprison this young man for so long, that arose passion in other people. And it could be that the citizens of that country, Senegal, are tired of your party leading them, and a lot of things are not going so well for them. So they decide that, no, why do you have to imprison this young man just because they are against you? So they decided to vote massively for them. That's a lesson that a lot of leaders in Africa must learn from. Sometimes you may be doing evil to your opponent, but at the end, it may turn to be good. Now we have the young man at the helm of affairs, with Sonko, with uh, Osman Sonko, who is the prime minister, a lot is going to change in that country. But we only hope and pray that their hearts will work so well for them to forgive those that wrong them or tyrannize them. That should tell all of us that power is very transient. Yes, you can't hold on to power forever. You have the power today, you must not use it to tyrannize people or you must not use it capriciously. Once you do that, if you are no more, what will happen to you? You have to run away from the country as allegedly done by Macky Sall, the former president of Senegal. Because it's so strange. Former president, you have to have all your, your guys with you. You have to settle in, go on retirement, and relax very well. But this gentleman has to run away, allegedly, to Paris, that is France, who have been alleged to be one of the people that he was dealing with very friendly when it comes to his presidency. Now the young men have taken over. What is going to happen? We are watching and we are here to bring you the best when it comes to politics of Africa, as well as international relations and anything security and crime. We are here to digest and analyze everything for you. For more, kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best. Always be in touch with us. Your like and your comment will be highly appreciated. Let us see what will be the way forward. For now, this gentleman, they, they bought one and they've gotten one free. I'm talking about the elected their president that is Dio Maye Faye, one of the youngest presidents in Africa of 44 years. I'm not talking about military head of state. No, I'm talking about a democratically elected president, Dio Maye, and they've gotten Sonko. That's Osman Sonko. In addition, they bought one and they got Sonko for free as the prime minister. And a lot is going to happen in that country. And we have our eyes fixed there. Please, always be in touch with us. We'll bring you the best. Always be with us. Thank you so much.